the youth and the public will lose respect for all the scholars and they would then lose respect for the dean they would not be interested in listening to the scholars saying these guys are just fighting amongst each others each one is calling the other names no no each one is not calling the other names some are calling others names while the others are busy working very hard i was taught by my own scholars and my own asatida my teachers and those whom we look up to in terms of our elders our predecessors they always said busy yourself in your work never insult a person you differ with what's your aim is it to present the haq and the truth if it is present it in the most beautiful way say i believe this opinion is correct because of a b and c and i believe this opinion is totally wrong it is unacceptable because of x y and z stop there and continue but when you begin to belittle someone call them names remember you are far away from islam let alone the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu because the prophet sallallahu says la yadkhulu al-jannata man kana fi qalbihi mithqala habbatin min khardalin min kibr a person in whose heart is an iota or a mustard seed weight worth of pride will not enter paradise so the sahaba radiyallahu anhum asked him you know we like to wear good clothes good shoes etc conveyance what not he said no the pride is to reject the truth and to despise people to belittle others that is pride Pride comes in three most important things. Number one, when you have a lot of wealth, you need to check yourself for pride. Number two, when you have a lot of authority, you need to check yourself for pride. Number three, when you have a lot of wealth, you need to check yourself for pride. These three things are an amana for the ummah, not for you. When Allah gives you wealth, it's not for you, it's for the ummah. When Allah gives you authority, it's not for you, it's for the ummah. When Allah gives you knowledge, it's not for you, it's for the ummah. So Allah tests you and shaitan comes and tamper with you. You develop pride. I think I know. I think I have. I think I'm powerful. The minute those three contaminate your mind, you have a problem. You need to go to a real and a true scholar of the deen just to clean your heart. Today, we have sheikhs who people look up to and they say, this is my sheikh. But if you study that sheikh, he has hatred in him. He has jealousy. He has ill feeling. He swears and belittles other scholars. What type of a sheikh is it? Is it not a sign of the hour? A simple vagabond from the street will tell you, please clean your heart. La ilaha illallah.